Welcome to Pirate Studios. My name's Jamie Hartley, the DJ tutor from Crossfader. We're a step-by-step -step learning platform for DJs. In this video, I'm going to help you get started and get prepared, ready to mix on this piece of DJ equipment. All you're going to need before turning up is either a USB drive or an SD card to plug into the CDJs, and you'll need to download the Recordbox DJ software from Pioneer DJ's Recordbox website. Let's move over to the laptop and take a look at how to get some music onto these storage devices. So one of the first issues DJs may have when plugging their USB into the CDJs is they don't recognize the USB stick. Now Pioneer DJ recommend that you format your USB stick in FAT32 format. So here on a Mac, I'm going to show you if you use a Windows, just click the link below this video. There's some information about how to do it on a Windows. But on a Mac, we're going to open Disk Utility. And then we're going to go to the USB stick. You can see this bit here where it says crossfader. Now I'm going to just click the erase button. What this will do will allow me to format the USB stick. I'm going to name it crossfader still. And with this drop down, you want to make sure it's on the FAT32 format. Click erase, and then it's going to wipe everything off that USB stick. So make sure if you do have anything important on there, you save it elsewhere first before formatting your USB. Now, what we're going to do is open up the record box software. You can download this for free from Pioneer DJ's website, and you will need to have access to the export mode. This is found via the drop down toggle at the top of the software. So once you've registered with Pioneer, make sure you're not in this mode, which is performance mode. We're going to drop down into export mode. Export mode is specifically for getting music onto a USB drive to plug in to Pioneer DJ's equipment and to make the most of its features. All of what you're about to see can be done prior to even arriving at Pirate Studios, so you're ready to get mixing right away. In Rekordbox, you can see I have some music in the library section here. We have playlists in this section on the left, which is called our tree view, and we have a player up at the top. Now we're going to need to get some music into Rekordbox first. So there are two ways of doing this. You can simply open up the Explorer here, and then you can navigate to your music and import it that way. So if you've got it already organized, you can right click and import as a playlist, or you can simply drag and drop. So if I'm going to drag and drop, I would create a new playlist here. Let's call this Pirate Studios. And then we can just simply go to our music library and drag it in. Now, I've got a crossfader music pack here, which is full of free DJ music that you can download from our website. And it's great music to help you get started as a DJ. I could simply drag and drop these as folders onto the playlists. This will then import that folder and actually make a playlist of it at the bottom here, baseline and bass house. You can organize further in Recordbox by right clicking and creating a new folder. You could name this whatever you like, house music, and then you could drag and drop different um, subgenres of house music playlists into that folder. And then it's a good way of organizing your music once you start building your library up to quite a vast amount. Now, if I head back over to my collection, I can see all the music that's been dragged and dropped into the record box software. This is all the stuff that you can export to a USB drive. Please note that anything that you drag into record box, it just reads that file path location. So it doesn't actually duplicate the file and put it into the software. Record box is reading it from the location on your laptop. So if you happen to rename or relocate any of those files on your laptop, Recordbox is going to struggle to find them. Let me show you what happens if this is the case. I'll just rename here, Crossfader Music Pack, and I'll just put a one after it. Now, if I go to my Crossfader Music Pack in Recordbox, and I try to click on any, you'll see this warning sign comes up just next to the waveform here. This means it can't locate the file. I then need to go to File, Display All Missing Files, and it will show you all the different files. You can choose to auto relocate or you can choose the actual file to relocate. So if I was to choose auto relocate, it will start looking through all of my library. Or I can just go here, go back to my downloads, choose Crossfader Music Pack, and then it will find all those files again. I could then, if I've accidentally done that, instead I could just rename that back to exactly the right file path that it had before. And we haven't got any issues. If you do have that where you've got the little exclamation mark, it won't export those files to your USB drive. They might show up on there, but when you load, try and load that track, you will get an error warning. So that is a common thing that you might come across. Make sure you keep all your file names and folder structure nice and neat outside of Recordbox before dragging it in.
Lastly, we need to get the music actually onto the USB drive. We haven't done that yet. All we've done is organized it. You can do extra preparation within the Rekordbox software by double clicking a song. You can drag the waveform around and you can basically set up hot cues like this. You could set up loops and you could save the loops. All of that information would be exported onto the USB drive as well so that you can use the performance features on the CDJs. How do we get the music onto our USB drive then? First thing is the best way to do it, which I think is the best way, is to use this sync manager. You can see it down on the bottom left. If you click sync manager, you'll see that a new panel loads up. It's just got to quickly load my iTunes library first. And there you can see we have three panes in this window. The first thing you need to do is tick this box, synchronize playlist with a device. Now you can simply tick all of the playlists that you want to drag and basically put onto your USB device ready to mix with. So if I was to put the Crossfader Music Pack and the Pirate Studios playlist and the house music folder that I made, all I need to do now is click this big arrow. You'll notice at the bottom here, we have the export percentage remaining. So we can watch that. You can close this box, but when that's complete, we can then eject our USB device ready to mix. Now, why is the sync manager probably one of the best ways to do this? Well, it means that you can check different ones. You can move playlists quickly on and off your device without having to go in and individually delete tracks. If you add new songs to a playlist, you don't have to re export all those individual playlists. You can just go into sync manager and just press that button one more time. Anything new in that playlist will be added to your USB drive, ready to mix with. Please also be aware of this arrow underneath, the Q Grid Info arrow. If you move on to the CDJs and plug your device in and start mixing, decide you like a point of the track and maybe set a hot cue or save a loop, then that's saved on your USB drive, but it's not saved on your laptop. So the first thing you want to do when you get back to your laptop, plug your USB device in, then open up Sync Manager and click this arrow first. That will send all the information that has been saved on the CDJ back to your Rekordbox library so that you can keep up to date with any hot cues, memory points and things like that that you've set up on your music. The other way to export music to a USB drive is to simply right click on a playlist, export playlist um, to the device there. Once you click that, the bar at the bottom will pop up. However, then it can be quite complicated to remember which ones you've exported, which you haven't, which have you updated, which ones do you need to export again. So there's swings and roundabouts. You can choose to do it either way, but I'd highly recommend getting familiar with the Sync Manager. Please note that when you export music through the Rekordbox software, you don't also need to drag and drop it within your finder or computer onto the USB drive like that. If you do drag and drop music in this way, you can play it on the CDJs, but it won't show all that inf important information right away, like the BPM or the overview waveform, and it doesn't really have a grid attached to the music. So let Rekordbox do the hard work and export the music for you. You do not need to drag and drop it. Don't be alarmed either when you go onto your USB device and all it says is Pioneer and Contents. Your files are actually deep down within Contents. When you navigate down through the folders, you can see the actual music file there. Pioneer sets it up this way so that the CDJs can read through its XML and basically load in the playlist as you've set them out in Rekordbox. So make sure you do all your exporting within the Rekordbox software. Once that's all exported, as you can see, the progress bar has gone. We can scroll right down, find the devices tab, and then just eject so that we're safely ejecting it. That's another common issue. If you just pull your USB device out, it could corrupt the files, especially if you're mid-exporting. So safely eject, and then you shouldn't run in, into any issues when you plug this into the CDJs. Now that you have your music loaded up onto your USB drive, it's a case of plugging it into one of the CDJs. Watch the next video to find out how to navigate the CDJs and the mixer and make sure you've got some sound coming out ready to play. If you want to access Crossfader's free music pack to help you get started as a DJ, then just click the link below this video and you can download that for free. I'll see you in the next video.